right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is going to maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. Welterweight champion in a division full of killers, he has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. for this welterweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Bergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Assassin. And now it is the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? Okay, you ready? All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's leading the dance. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Try to establish that jab. 
blocks the shot. Big kick land. These guys throwing early. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Lee gets caught with that punch. Trying to double up on that jab. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbow's tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out, the jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, nice. Pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you get one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time an opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Right on the button. Big punch lands. Ooh. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie, and they separate. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Look at him chop up the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, He's already hitting them with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Blocks that strike. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, slips to avoid the right. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Out of range with that one. Slips to punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. So we crossed the 30-second mark in our opening round. <laughs> 20 seconds now remain in the round. Keep your hands up. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Gotta be careful dipping his head with that jab. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Hey, round one, right. not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really right. taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. 
Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Big head kick. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Nice. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your head. Some nice back and forth action here. His hands are Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Jab, high kick. And he connects there with a punch. So pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. He's going to get himself knocked out. You got to take a moment. He's going to get knocked out if he doesn't take a break. Hey. Oh, that's a good right here. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Finish. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Straight punch land. with the kick there, no pat on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. He lands flush with that right hand. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Oh, he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, collar tie. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kicking. That is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. And they separate. Wow! Dude's hurt. Serves him up. Go get him. And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Big punch lands through the middle. That was a thudding leg kick. Certainly found the target. Oh, that right hand is on point. Superman punch lands. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful Where kick landed by this man. Ten minutes in the books. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, He's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Relax. I want you to look to finish this round. Put the pressure on this guy. Move forward. 
wall behind everyone who jabbed us along. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a it's very good competitive fight. Like both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect the fight to get ahead, but they both did so easily matched, and we're still right where we started. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Big head kick land. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. And they separate. Knee to the body. So a combination of knees here. You don't see this all the time where a fighter will, will throw multiple knees, but if it's not broken, go fix it. There's no takedown threat. If there was a takedown threat, he would not be throwing so many knees. But there's no threat of getting taken down, so he is just letting those knees fly. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Connection with the right hand, pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Nice kick. Just misses with the straight left hand. Three minutes to go in round three. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Oh, big punch land. Damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Good stick. Head kick lands. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Back and forth we go. Nice leg kick land. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Nice. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Hey. Steady. Trying to. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. He checks the leg kick. Leg kick. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. He loaded up that right hand, too. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Just a slip there. Lee gets caught by the straight punch. 
Standing in that round, we'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Watch the shot. Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Hands higher, hands higher. Nice leg kick. Leg kick checked nicely by Lee. Kick lands. And they separate. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, man. Check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Get you, get you. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. All right, he engages in a single power tie here. Just unable to quite find that range. Just over three minutes to go. Big body keeps land. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Body kick is blocked. Oh man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard, he kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shin into his opponent. <laughs> over the top, this fight's gonna be over this What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course, he mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very bad. Oh! Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent. Tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this one. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Can't take many of those, you better check. Lands with the right hand. That one snuck in, nice price. Beautiful body kick. Oh, he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad one more strike to end the night. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. There's no tell on that leg. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice body right on the elbow. Oh, knee strike right to the bottom. Oh, straight right. Oh, just misses with the kick. Under a minute to go in round four. Nice punch lands over the 
top. Thirty seconds remain in the round. Twenty seconds left. I mean, look at the commitment to kick it in this fight. What a tricky head kick. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? Let's we go. have arrived at this fifth and final round. Big kick lands. It's such a fast leg kick. Nice right hand. He's, he's limping now. A really strong leg kick there by Lee. Just out of range with that left hook. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on your feet right now. And now he's got his opponent hurt. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. Oh, single collar tie here. And there comes the separation now. Nice body kick. Take him down. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Big head kick lands. Ooh, blocks the shot. Just out of range with that kick attempt. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to just throw it. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy anymore. There's no give on that leg kick. Out of range with that kick attempt. More clinching. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. You gotta move those kicks. Lee's kick blocked. Great punch. Under two minutes now with which to work. Movement prevented from landing. Nice straight punch. Back and forth we go. 
A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides, oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He is getting lit up right now, John. his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Big knee to the body. Nice kick. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. 30 seconds now to go in the round. And he landed the right hand there. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Big leg kick land. Oh! So the championship fight goes the distance as we get you some highlights here. And I do believe the champion will walk out the way he came in as the undisputed best in the world. He is one of the most talented mixed martial artists we have ever seen in the UFC's octagon. He takes every challenge head on. And tonight he got pushed, but I think he did just enough to maintain his title. The official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Going the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, so another one bites the dust. Another challenger goes by the wayside. Congratulations to the still undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. There he is. Hard 25 minutes fought here tonight.